Okay, so I think you guys set out. That they um, that was intimidating. If you have anything in particular, I to go on record saying I didn't do anything. I was trying to help you do something. During your your <laughs> gathering around the city, if someone wants to give me a streetwise check or a perception check, or kind of learning in. learning the uh, layout of the city itself. Um, hey, nat twenty with my massive so, uh Nineteen total. Eighteen on the perception. Right, it's more than enough to know kind of where the north road goes. Um, I'm going to move this just a little bit so you guys can see the map. Uh, basically, how the whole city is built. Um, well, it's this, a more street boys guy. This section down here is is ground, and then it gets steeper and steeper, and then it goes into the tiers. The northern section of the city does the same thing, only instead of it being ground and then it turns into tiers going north, it's ground and turns into tiers as it goes to the, the west. So this area over here is going to a road, much like this area down here. Right? Um, although you won't have to cross any any waterways other than the drag in order to get over there. Um, the drag itself has a, a fairly wide avenue built at the on the end of each tier that um, gets pulled open and pulled down when the, the locks open. So knowing where the the road is to go to the east is fairly simple. Um, and also you have someone with you who will autopilot that direction if you guys don't go there, but he's allowing you guys to leave. Um, which is Aaron, of course. Huey, Huey is not letting him out of the bag till we pass the gates. Did, Huey, uh, don't put me in a bag, please. Don't announce stupid things yes. to people about <laughs> okay. sexual favors. <laughs> Sonrod, what is it exactly you said? Oh, no, I just let the um, two girls know that you're interested in having sex with them. And that if they were still interested, that they needed to do it shortly as we were leaving. Vin, and you, you said that in their motor, didn't you? you? Vin, you understand their mother came to me distinctly and told me, the are do the not let anyone, and that the girls tend to offer mm -hmm. more than they are willing to actually give out. Wait, so there's, there's double implications there. Either A, they were afraid that um, Jack was going to take advantage of them sexually, which uh, I'd have to actually calculate the pro probability of that actually happening. Um, actually, it's more along the lines of they were flirting because flirting gets more tips. <laughs> so that's what so you guys oh. had this conversation as you go out of town? Yes! Right. Um, Once we are outside of town, what? I dump him out! Why would Art? you do that? To the because crib. men are stupid. Um, you and see, women understand this. That's why they're devious and evil. As a couple of people, kind of, as you guys get I'm to the gates... I'm assuming you're carrying Iris, because I would have had you pick her up. And bring as you get to the gates, you notice that a couple of guards go to walk up towards you, and then Aaron kind of turns his body slightly towards them, and you can tell that there's some sort of communication, communication going on. Um, the, the, god, the, the guard nods a couple times, and then kind of notes something on a piece of paper and walks away. So Aaron kind of deals with talking to the guards before you guys even get close to them. Okay. Um, That's you good. guys head out. Um, Hi. Hi. Uh, Aaron will let you know. Hey. Yeah. Um, Sorry, are the dark still? The black in the gray basket. It's yes. Clean, dirty. Clean. Clean. Okay, cool. Uh, Aaron will let you know that um, it is about three or four days to get to Pogles Estate. If we are, and he looks over at the Garros. We grab our yeah. Garros. Yeah. Well, well Garros can handle this. Some of us is not going to. Um, he says, I could, of course, hire a creature that would carry you if you prefer. They don't know they're worth such things. Um, as you guys have been going through the city, you've seen very large lizards hmm. that have tails that almost look like scorpion tails, only instead of having on the end uh, an actual scorpion tail, there's a wide multicolored fan that some of the larger hauls from moving from ship to ship are carrying around the, the town. How much do those um, cost? How much do they cost? If we rented an open carriage, it would not be... How much do the lizards cost? How much does one lizard cost? It would be difficult I mean, to find someone willing to sell, but what, what the point? What would the aim be to have Chunkers ride this the, the the lizard or ride a carriage drawn by the, the lizard? Ride the lizard, of course. We call them open carriages, but that's just the name. How much? 
How much would a lizard cost? Um, I have never tried to purchase one. I do not know. I, I know like, that... I feel like this needs to go on the to-do list. A ride to and from the city would be about two gold. That's just a ride, not the thing. Right, but I want to take mm -hmm. Possibly even two. Huh? Need, I, but I mean... <laughs> Can you blame me for not wanting to ride on a giant bunny rabbit? I mean, seriously. So the, the, the lizards themselves are very almost flat and broad back. Perfect. So they're typically, you've not seen anyone actually standing back there, but you've seen lots of crates and other sorts of stuff. But it would be big enough to stand up there if the creatures could handle the weight. Could they handle a large war? They look like it. They can handle a lot of cargo, so hmm. it could be possible. All right, let's rent one chest. Where can we rent one? Um, then maybe we can talk to him. Right. the gate. If we go to North Harbor, we should be able to rent one there. He motions up, and the the, the harbor actually goes oh, longer than the city wall does. Okay. Um, so you guys have actually made it outside the city, but down by the down by the uh, the Water. sea, there's actually still the, the North Harbor dock that's sticking out. We'll see if maybe we can find one to purchase. If not, then we'll go ahead and just at least rent one for now and maybe look further when we come back. I will I will include this as part of the in the city part. Okay. So it's you guys really want to buy one? Uh, yes. they're fifteen hundred gold. Um, what are we what are we buying? We're buying a mount for chunk. We actually like found something that'll fit chunk is what? I feel a, like that's a, a, another gore? I really think it's <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I, I believe it's called Hyrule or Prostitute. Okay, flat <laughs> flat um, I, will, I will give you the stats for it sometime later. Okay. Um, it's basically equivalent of a great lizard. It's a. Uh, I, I, I will spend my time looking at them and trying to figure out which one's good. And. Do you go over there? I'm looking. Go There's a knife right yeah. here if you need that. A little bit like a Kodo, only. I'll give you a I'll show you a picture and I'll put on the podcast. Actually, a picture of what these creatures look like. And what I'll do is I'll have to focus with me when we're looking at these to purchase one mm -hmm. because I want to make sure that whatever so make one it that we way. get for Chunkus <laughs> is comfortable <laughs> with Chunkus. Okay. The creatures and seem and the, and the very docile. comfortable on it. Yes. And it's yes. pretty. It doesn't seem to really care that much when Chunkus is on it. Um, <laughs> and it's just <laughs> okay. it moves deceptively fast but needs to be urged quite a lot to get it to move at all. Kiwi can deal with that. It is sort of lazy. Define urged. Kiwi does as... Uh, Kicked fairly hard. Oh, I can Kiwi do that. Kiwi does, does make sure that she gets, you know, all the specs on what they eat, what she needs to make sure mm -hmm. that they're... and what temperatures they're comfortable in. I wonder if they're going to be able to keep just some peppers. Now, um, one yes. thing that I do want to point out is if you guys do, don't think they have a choice. if you guys did buy a set of rituals, or if you guys, when you spent your money in town, mm -hmm. at some point you need to let me know what you bought, okay. in for, terms of rituals and magic items and that sort of stuff, so I can add it to the loot list. Um, I will so, be purchasing a set of scale mail, I just have not decided what mm. kind yet. Yeah. What is your passive arcana? So arcana plus 10. 26? Twenty-four. So, okay. Um, you guys head out of the city, and unless after you purchase the thing, it is now full dark. Um, but you guys are still pretty well rested, so head out of the city. Um, and Aaron will kind of lead you along the road. Um, unless you guys have anything specific to do, I'm going to turn this into basically traveling time. So you guys will head out and away. Okay. Yeah. Send him away. Um, travel uh, three days um, to the Kalenta Estate. Sorry, mm -hmm. anybody see Player's Handbook 1? And, um, okay, you can hand that to me and um, it might be Adventure's better. Guide 1 and 2. It might be better, rather than look through those, is to get a mini yeah. and, and pull up the companion. Pull up the companion. Okay. Yes. It would probably be a faster way of going about that. I have, um, I only have one and a half things on my wish list, so we can. I do, I, knew, I do know how much the armor was. I just can't remember how much it did. Or okay. what it did. Because we got, 40, we got to where it was only everybody 40, had. You got armor? Is that what you got? Or no, you got. Um, I was looking at. It wasn't the Verve armor. It was, it was the other one. one how much did we have allocated for everybody? It wasn't pretty close to 10, right? 
Well, we have 60,000. Okay. But what we were doing was we were kind of laying out what we were planning on getting and we were going to discuss that. And then kind of whatever was left, he was going to pull a chunk out for living expenses. And then basically the rest of it would be donated towards rituals. Are you going to tell the group about that incidentally? Because I think it's a good idea. What? The living expenses. Um, what living expenses? Huey has a project. I have a project too that I wanted to talk to you all about. Yeah. Too. And we'll, we'll get to that between sessions. Yeah. Um, we never get to anything between yes, sessions. Yes, I was going to say his. By between sessions, I mean. After um, we wrap up. Basically, after we get to a good stopping point, um, if we can get it, I'm going to try to get to a good stopping point before our normal stopping point, and then we would do between session to session. By between sessions, what I mean is either at the very beginning or the very end, and out of character. Okay. So the out of I character bit is pretty important. I think are actually kind of wrapped up together right, right. at this moment. Right. So. so, head on the road, unless you guys have anything specific to do on the road. No specific things on the road? No. Um, the only thing that he oh. was going to ask is for people to keep their eye out since we apparently offended a bunch of nobles. Keep your eye out and make sure we're not followed out of the city because I really don't feel like being jumped by a bunch of nobles outside the city. No, 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 but we know that we's gonna be alive to meet him again. And so we don't know if that. they jump us, then we, we know we know win. that for sure. As he is not that exact. 100%. Yeah, he's he like, it is I not mean, have exact. Have you seen the people out of there? They're, I mean, did you see the guards? Totally went one on one with one of the most mm -hmm. uh, fearsome one of them. It was fun. Chunk's hammer's bigger than one of the guys that was guarding the front door, for Christ's sake. Ooh. It was. For God's sakes. <laughs> God's, God's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> Lord, turn her nice. <laughs> Alright, so, um, you guys head out. Um, Aaron pretty much keeps to himself um, on the road. He will respond when people talk to him, but he's not very talkative. Um, Toy or Amulet's gonna make a doll of Aaron. Of Aaron. Um, Aaron's doll. Iris, since she was around the Second Kingdom, uh, basically everyone who's been here who's from the Second Kingdom, uh, and there are quite a few Rarens that are actually in Osiris as well, um, are familiar enough with Rarens to recognize that um, he is newly born. So he's probably a year or less old. So well, he's got some sorry, big probably for a Raren that's probably uh, ten years or less old. Yeah, I was going to say, because he's got some big wings for a brand new one. What do you do for fun there, Aaron? I don't have a lot of fun. I am a guard. Right. I have not yet remembered why I am here. Again, if you're from one of the cities where Rarens are fairly common, you know that Rarens that are newborn, they don't remember a lot of their true self. And then they slowly remember what their, the reason they were reborn into the world after a certain amount of time. Um, the young scribe boy took Chunk's journal mm -hmm. with, with the understanding that we can get, back get it back in the morning. Right there. We kind of left. left. Oh, yep. have windows Ender, in Ender leaving it in the end with the, <laughs> with, with the um, I, I, I'm sure that if we go back and not him, we should. Well, I mean, do you think if we go back and apologize? I mean, it weren't me, it was Sunrod. It's in my fault that he has, you know, all the subtlety of a war with a giant shot. I'm worrying about not having it with me. Um, as far as if you're it's looking for something book. to draw, or something to write in and draw on, Iris carries several much. blank journals yeah. with her. This one's waterproof. So <laughs> Here you go, Chunkus. Here we go. <laughs> Huey, Huey just looks at you. She's like, just think, Tom Chunk is going to help with your penmanship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what are the three seashells for? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys head, yeah, uh, head on. Um, unless you have any specific else on the trip to talk so to Aaron about, then um, you guys Huey, arrive. The only thing Huey will ask is maybe like what what symptoms does Pavel exhibit? So she kind of asks for a description of his demeanor, how he is since she's since she's seen what she terms as Bogar sickness before. She's kind of comparing his sickness with some of the others she's seen. Um, Not that it's common, but he he describes a fairly good description of of what you would consider kind of average Bogar sickness at first. 
And then he says, uh, every now and again, he will just disappear. And it's impossible to know where he's gone or what he's doing. Um, he's even able to disappear from him within his sight range. So... That's a cool trick. And sometimes no, okay. he doesn't come back for days or weeks. That implies that he's not really here. You know how, like, you see, yes. you can sort of see in a fun in front of us? Mm. They can't see that far, but it's like a bubble. So even things that's behind them, they can see it. I don't fully it's not, understand it's it. Not it's not just she, she's, she tries to explain. It's not just that the Raren can see... I'm not sure Tunkus would know that, but yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Aren't bats like common? Bats are common. How bats actually see, probably not something that's been yeah. determined. They just in the world that hasn't figured out that sound yeah. travels. Yeah. He, he was like, the Raren can see everything within their sight. Oh. So oh. if it can vanish from his sight, it means it's not here. Either wrong. Yeah. He, he, that means he is not here. Well, what have seen people do that? 